I believe personally very much in the relationship of the educator and uh, the student because I can see the importance now in my medical work. This relationship is very special. The student sees their teacher every week. They discuss a lot about their future, what they need to play, how they need to play it, how they need to be creative, how they need to express themselves uh, through the music. However, guiding the student into sustaining healthy playing for as long as possible is very important. It is very interesting when a student comes to the clinic and they already have discussed the problem with the teacher, you can see that there's already a little bit of understanding of what, what may be going on. Whereas if we have a student that hasn't approached their teacher at all about this, then we can see the barriers that may have developed there. And then again, that makes the work that we have to do as health professionals more difficult. So I would ask the students and their teachers to keep um, a diary or a logbook perhaps, to keep checking various events such as pain, numbness, burning sensation, pins and needles, any other funny feelings that might resemble tingling or something like that. Again, I spoke about fatigue. When the piece, the, the um, output that they bring into a lesson is not the best one, these are signs that have to be taken into consideration. Again, within this student-educator environment, one can be a little bit more open and more sensitive to social issues. So I had a bad weekend, for instance, or I had a, a miserable holiday for some uh, other reason, or I had a very bad um, personal experience. These are things that can be communicated in the uh, studio room, in the teaching room. <laughs>